done on the video review for you. And then continuing in our line of doing reviews for figures that are new molds of other that are new figures of, of, of different molds, but not reviewing the original figure in that mold, we have Generations Wheeljack, who is a repaint and remold of uh, Reveal the Shield tracks. Um, this guy has been used a bunch. He does roll very nicely. So yeah, he is a repaint and a slight remold of tracks from the Reveal the Shield line. Uh, this guy, this mold has been used at least a half dozen times that I can think of off the top of my head, probably more. Uh, it is a very cool mold though, I do really, really dig it. Uh, but yeah, this guy is in the Generations line, as my backdrop keeps moving all over the place. Uh, it is a very cool looking car. Obviously not what uh, Wheeljack originally looked like, but color scheme is is very Wheeljack. Uh, and the head sculpt, which you will see, is very Wheeljack. It does have a very good Wheeljack feel, it's just not the exact same car. but. What are you going to do? I don't even know what kind of car he was originally. I think it was a uh, some kind of weird uh, prototype car that they made up. Uh, I need to get me a G1 Wheeljack, actually. But yeah, he does roll very nicely. As you can see. Very nicely detailed. Back of the car. Got painted in taillights. Nice grill. Tailpipe mold in. Or attached to anything. Uh, you do have this weird front bumper with this big ass like cow catcher thing on the bumper but overall very nice paint scheme very 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 real jacky what about logo on the hood yeah, that's about it for the car um, he does technically have a flight mode which is uh, the same thing from tracks which is basically open up the doors and deploying the wings which I'm not gonna do because real jack couldn't fly <laughs> um, I actually transform a little bit different just to differentiate him a little bit uh, but I'll show you that later when we transform. So let's get down to that. So first what we want to do is pull off these bits down here. They just peg in right here. On either side, here and here. And these are just 3mm clips. Um, they're little like a, uh, like muffler pipes, like uh, exhaust pipes. But uh, they can either go on his shoulders, which I'll show later, or they can be little wrenches. And for him, I use, I use them as wrenches. They do look like wrenches with the clips on them. Because that fits him better. So now, focus on the car. So we're going to start by cracking the back of the vehicle. Um, these hands do actually peg in. They do just come easily on peg when you, when you transform it. These pegs right here go into slots in the arms. I don't know if I can get it far enough. There you go. Right here, where these tabs are, that tab's in right there. So when you transform it back, you just kind of jam everything up in there and they, they hold together just fine. Then you press it all back together. So yeah, we split this open. Then we pull his gun off, which is just pegged into that hole right there. Take his gun, flip it open. And there's his gun. Again, the gun also has a 3mm clip and a 5mm peg hole. So you can have him hold it like a gun, or you can have it up on his shoulder, which we'll show off later too. Put the gun off to the side. So next we will take the doors, just kind of separate the doors, swing them out. Wiggle it, separate the doors and swing them out. Um, at this point you can actually, they're on slides, so you can literally just pull them up for now. Oh, sorry, itch. Um, okay, so next we're going to pull the hood up. It is just on a hinge right there. Um, the hood does peg in right here. There's a little tab and a hole to hold the hood together. So we're going to lift that up to get out of the way. Pull the legs until they lock into place and separate them. Let's make sure they're actually locked. Yeah. Now with the bumpers, you want to push down on the bumper to free it. Give it a little bit of wiggle room. It's on this like double hinge over here and fold it out. And that creates his foot and his heel. So again, fold it down, pull it up in a way, creates the feet. Just going to angle up a little bit for you. So now, keep this hood, the, the rear of the cards backing out of the way. Um, you want to take the hands on the shoulders here and just kind of rotate them up and around and flip the wheel around 
rotate it around, flip the wheel forward, bring it to the side, just to get it out of the way. Then we're going to close the hood and push up on it, revealing the head. Just like that, so it pushes all the way up. It also pushes these bits, those were in, and they kind of flywheel out in a way, giving him proper proportions. Take the arms, rotate them up here at the upper bicep and then at the wrist to straighten the hands out. So that way and then that way. To give him proper elbows and hands. Come around here to the back. This gray piece is on a hinge. I'm going to just pull that up. Now it does open all the way, but you're not going to open all the way to attach it. You're going to fold it about halfway. And then they, these two tabs will go into those slots. So you just want to... Oh, also, sorry, lift the doors. They're on this, and the end of this hinge is also a, a pivot point. So that actually frees the back of the car enough. So what you want to do is angle that and then just wiggle it side to side while putting pressure that way to make sure it's locked in. Let me show you the official transformation first. Um, flip out these bits on the doors to create wings. And there he is in robot mode. Let's stand him up here. Angle it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so here we have him in robot mode. And before I start attaching things, um, let me just do articulation real quick. Let's take a look at his face, which is very G1 wheel jack. He does have light piping on uh, his eyes and on his ears. I don't. I never understood what those actually were, but he does have them. Uh, but head is on a ball joint. It is a very wheel jacky head. I do really, really dig the head. Shoulders, ball joints, very, very stiff. Upper sw upper bicep swivel, double hinge at the elbow for transformation, so you do have, if you move the wheel out of the way, he can go all the way up. Um, waist swivel, bends at the knee, uh, ball, joint, ball joint in the hips, heel pivots on a hinge, Toe has a ball joint, so very good range of motion in the front toe, and a really good range of motion in the heel. So I mean, you can get them real wide and still super stable, which is very, very cool. Overall, super poseable. Very, very, very fun. Um, when you do transform them, just make sure you pull the legs all the way out until they click to make sure he uh, doesn't squish down. So, now I said about the weapons. You can have him hold his gun which for me works fine for tracks, but less fine for wheeljack. And why won't you hold your gun? That's the one downside about this guy. Well, one, uh, yeah. The hands are actually molded open and there's a groove. Let's see if I can show that. There's a groove for the, for the see that? It's molded open, but there's an actual groove for the for the five millimeter clip. So you gotta you can't put it in on an angle. You have to slide it straight in there for him to hold it. Which is fine. It just takes him extra couple seconds to line everything up properly. There he is with his gun. I don't personally like to use his gun. Have him hold his gun because I think it's silly. Because he's wheeljack. He's not supposed to have a gun. Um, you can also take these muffler bits and there's clip points right here. And you can just snap them on. And you can have that look going on. Again, I think it works fine for tracks. I think it works less for wheeljack. So I don't do it. Stand. It's a little bit top heavy. And also I, my camera's on an angle, so it's kind of hard for me to guys to stand up properly so yeah that's a thing you can do I don't do either of these things what I'd like to do is take the gun 
pop the gun on, push it back a little bit on that hinge to give him his shoulder cannon that he always has. Then I take these muffler bits and put them in his hands and have them as wrenches. That's the only problem when you have a figure that's been remolded is trying to differentiate them. But uh, Wheeljack actually does it pretty nice. So the other thing that I like to do is I not have his legs? No, I do. Stand for me. There we go. It's hard to get it to show you because the camera points down. Um, what I like to do is fold these bits in because Wheeljack no fly. And then there's two hinges on the the doors. Um, the one I showed you on the body and then the exact same joint right there. So what I like to do is just fold the doors down and out of the way and just give him more of a makes him just look more wheel jacky. So yeah, there we have him the way I like to display him in robot mode. And I just can't say enough good things about this guy. It's a great mold. Um, it's, it has been done to death. Um, the 2012 BotCon box set actually has a version of this mold as... Forgot. Sue me. Uh, I forgot who they use him as. But um, there's a version of this mold in that, and that was last year. So they are still using this guy pretty thoroughly, but um, I mean the mold is great. Um, the way they differentiate in the mold a lot is they is in the legs. Sometimes they'll have this be the front, and they'll just remold it a little bit differently so it looks better as a front leg, as the front portion of the leg. So you don't have all this blockiness in the front of the legs and have like big, you know, stomping shoes. But uh, I think his wheel jacket looks perfectly fine. I think it looks actually great. Um, as you see, the top of the hood becomes a chest. You got the nice Autobot symbol right there. Uh, I do really like having the muffler bits as weapons, much better, or wrenches rather than have him hold his gun. Um, I think it's, I think it looks much better up over his shoulder to mimic G1. I mean, just overall, this is how I like to display him. This is how I think he looks the best as Wheeljack, as the character of Wheeljack. And there's really nothing else to say. So yeah, this has been the video review for Transformers Generations Wheeljack.